these aerosexual fans or aerospins fanboys are so confused. You know, now they're Boots fans all of a sudden, but they don't know who Crawford's ducking in their mind. Is Crawford ducking Errol Spence at 154? Or is he ducking Boots at 147, which, was, which became Crawford's mandatory right after the fight? Basically, right after the fight. And I think a big part of Crawford being stripped is something of Errol Spence doing. Having one mandatory over five or six years. And then Crawford inherited that. And people want to say, well, Errol Spence was in car accidents and blah, blah, blah. You make him a champion in recess like they did other champions from the past. I'm over it. Congratulations to Jerron Boots Ennis, who was very talented. And I think 147 is his weight class to win. We know for sure Errol Spence is moving to 154. And there's no confirmation yet. I think Crawford is going there too. So 147 pound is his. We're going to see what the young and talented Boots Ennis does with 147. Now, when it comes to Terrence Crawford ducking Errol Spence at 154, it does not make sense. First of all, he beat the brakes off of him. This wasn't no lucky beating. This was a beating. Lucky is when you land one shot and the guy goes down. That could be considered lucky. But what Terrence Crawford did to Errol Spence was a demolition. And the aerosexuals, AKA now we're Boots fans, do not understand that. The fight hasn't happened because you don't have a network. The PBC doesn't have a network and more than likely they do not have the money and Al Heyman is not gonna put his own money up for the Errol Spence rematch. In my opinion, it's not a fact, but my opinion is that they don't even wanna put the fight on because it's not gonna make any money because it was so lopsided. And I don't have a copy in the contract. I don't know how much these guys are making. But in my opinion, these guys got high guarantees for the rematch. And he doesn't want to pay them. So I don't know if this fight's going to happen or not. But more than likely, if it doesn't happen, it's on Spence's end. I mean, why would I duck a fight when I beat the brakes off a fighter? And, you know, to be honest with you, Spence was a couple of punches away of being permanently retired. If they let this fight go on another round or two, Spence will never fight again. So if this fight is not going to happen, let's void the contract, move on. Tim Zhu, Terrence Crawford for the WBO junior middleweight title in Australia. That's where the money at. Big fight. I think Tim Zhu gives Crawford a better fight at 154 than Errol Spence. As far as him ducking Jerron Boots Ennis or not defending his title against Jerron Boots Ennis, how can you do that when you're under contract for a rematch? You know what happened to Tyson Fury when he tried that stuff with Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder? He was under contract to fight Deontay Wilder again. And what happened when he tried to fight Anthony Joshua? He would've got sued. So to me, the Boots era has started at the Walterweight division. Terrence Crawford moves up to 154 and see what he does there. Boots had two opportunities to fight Crawford at 147. They did not want to fight Terrence Crawford. They won the IBF title. So there it is. I'm glad he got it. Now I'm going to see what he does with it. And as far as the Spence and Crawford fight goes, I think what they're trying to do is get a network and probably pitch that to them. Okay, um, you, you sign us up. We make a deal. We'll give you the Terrence Crawford Errol Spence fight. But who knows, if it's not gonna happen, they should let Crawford go and let him fight Zoo. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. These are just my opinions. JBZ, I'm gone.